what is up you guys it's your favorite summer reader and i am back except for i am not back with another read i'm back to talk my shit this is day five how i'm manifesting my twin flame and today's video is going to be about forcing divine timing okay so today i want to talk about Forcing things into your life, forcing things to happen, um, and pretty much like not waiting on divine timing. So, I've come to the position in my twin flame journey, which I've kind of talked about yesterday, where I'm getting like impatient, like, or what I would call like impatient. So, pretty much, like I was saying yesterday with releasing. In order to release all of that shit, it takes a lot of fucking patience because I haven't got necessarily to the point where I've released all the way because I'm so impatient. I'm kind of like, I want to release because I want it to be mine and I want it now and I want it fast and I want it. But let me tell y'all something. When you really, really want something, like how you get it is how you lose it. And if you force something super fast before you're ready, before you've learned certain lessons, before, you know, you've reached certain steps, I swear, once you get what the fuck you've been manifesting or been wanting, either A, you're not going to appreciate it, or B, it's not going to be what you want because you didn't go through all the necessary steps to see if this was something you even wanted to work hard for, if this was something you even wanted to put your effort in, so... The waiting game. The waiting game. The waiting game is dating. Like, I feel like, especially as women, I don't know if I have men watching too, but as individuals, period, I'm not even going to put a gender on it, but sometimes we start dating somebody and we tend to think that we have to be in a relationship with that person or... You know, as soon as you get to dating somebody, you think, oh, this is going to be my boyfriend, this is going to be my girlfriend, I'm going to get married to this person, or this got to be a soulmate, 33 Thank you, Sam Masters. But honestly, that's just not true. Dating is so vital in your 20s. It's so vital. Not even just in your 20s shit, whenever the fuck you happen to be single, people tend to think, or people tend to associate dating with being a hoe or like if you date multiple men or multiple women that means you're promiscuous or things like that or if you're dating multiple people at a time that means something about your character or something like that but honestly i feel like that's a way to keep us not knowing who we are like the matrix is full of like veils it covers our eyes it fucking wants us to not know who we are and a way that they do that is by putting a stigma on dating because dating to me to me as my perspective is one of the main ways to get to know about yourself yes you can go deep into introspection and figure out about yourself on your own but you can never know everything about yourself not from a family member not from a friend you know, there's stuff about you that you can't learn from somebody if you're not intimate with them. Like, because for me personally, I feel like you have different relationships with every different person. You tell your mom certain things, your cousins, your uncles, your best friend versus your associates versus your lover. And I feel like with your lover, with your significant other, with your husband, your twin flame, whoever it is that you're manifesting as your life partner. You know, like, uh, what the fuck was I saying? Um, I completely just, um, spaced the fuck out. I don't remember what the fuck I was saying. About your significant other. Um, I don't, I don't. Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't fucking remember what the fuck I was just fucking saying. 444, thank you, Ascendant Masters. 
Oh yeah. Okay. So 